and welcome to part 4 of Let's Play Mega Man X. Let's go fight Armored Armadillo, because he's a bastard. Okay, this stage always uh, intrigued me, because there's like a lot of like little spots that are secret in it. And plus, it's the demo stage, like, if you uh, wait on the opening menu, you'll see mega, uh, or a demo run of somebody who's really bad at this game playing this stage. And uh, so this stage always intrigued me. I love getting those three bats right off the bat. And right here, hold on, this is a secret bat that if, if you kill him 90% of the time, he gives you one up, so. Let's get a bunch of one ups. He's, he's a bat that looks like he's from Mega Man 2. I'm sure most of you who are watching knew that already. The secret bat. Okay, we got enough. Whatever. I could stay here all day, but what would be the point? I'm not gonna lose any lives. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna die. You're gonna have to die. In my world, you're dead to me. Oh, hold on, my feet are getting numb. Sorry for pausing the game on you guys, I really am. Really am. Okay, back to action. <clears throat> okay, so we got our fire, and we got this guy coming at us. And we're gonna make an example out of him. The thing that sucks about having the X-Buster, the upgraded X-Buster, is that it charges your shot <laughs> when you're shooting a flame wave. So you have to keep on letting go of the shoot button. Oh, what the hell? The shoot button so that it doesn't go into uh, flame wave. You know, the actual flame wave. Hold on, I feel like you're not getting what I'm saying here. So I'm going to explain that to you. The flame wave. Let me show you the flame wave. I'm sure you all know what this is. I'm sure this was completely unnecessary. Completely unnecessary. Let's kill some bats. Anyway, there's a secret in this stage that I'm not sure if this is the case, but if you get through the stage with all four sub tanks filled and you do it four times in a row, at the very end of the stage, um, there's a, a Dr. Light capsule and he gives you like a Hadouken shot that's extremely powerful and that can kill enemies in like one shot. Hold on, I love that. Yes, I love that. The way that the um, mine track or whatever, the spiky mine cart, it just like flies in front of you for a second there. I love that. I always love the feeling of that as a kid playing this game. Yes, you can feel motion in video games. Okay, that was extremely easy. Now we can get our heart piece. Yeah! I don't have good commentary today. I admit that to myself. I admit that to all of you too. Okay, let's kill some birds. Let's kill some robot birds. Are they in on the endangered species list? I don't care. I don't care. Honey Badger don't care. Honey Badger don't give a crap. Oh man, they got me. Anyway, this is where the capsule would be, right there. For the Hadouken shot. So let's go kill Armored Armadillo. And this guy is nearly impossible without the electric power. I forget what it's called, the electric power. But he, because he blocks your shots. He'll block most of your shots and he'll absorb the uh, charged shots. If you don't have the electric power. And he has a very, oh god. And there goes your armor, Armored Armadillo. What are you going to do now, huh, you piece of crap? Piece of crap. Piece of crap. What are you going to do about this electricity flying at you? You can't do a damn thing. What can you do? What can you do? What can you do? What can you do? Next, we're going to fight Launch Octopus. What can you do? What can you do? I'm taking your power like Mega Man does to... Is that like a mining station in the back there? Does he, like, reside in, in a mine shaft? I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a cool looking background, but it just seems odd to me that Armored Armadillo would live in a mine shaft. Why would he live in a human environment? Why doesn't he live in, like, a robot factory or in a capsule or something? 
Why did, well, and why is he waiting for me to get to the end of the stage? Why doesn't he come after me? Isn't that, aren't these robot guys like trying to stop Mega Man? Aren't they like giving the orders to fight Mega Man? Oh, who cares? It's just a game. It's just a game, shut up. It's just a game. Don't jump! Oh my god, you idiot. Those little water ski robots. I remember playing this stage on Thanksgiving one time. And every time I play this stage, I think of Thanksgiving. Like the water and the, this music uh, just has a real Thanksgiving feel to it. Of course, I mean, that, that probably means that I played other stages on this that same Thanksgiving as well, but. Um, yeah. Just, I, I just. This one sticks out to me from that day. I got this game when I was... It, this is... I got this game when games still used to cost like $80 for a Super Nintendo game. Back in like the early 90s. I'm sure you all remember. Well, maybe if there's some younger folks around. Uh, it's true. Video games used to cost a crap load back in the day. Like even... I mean, games that are you can download for free on the internet now. They used to cost in upwards of $80. Oh god, don't hit the spikes! What's a good power to use against him? I'm just gonna keep going with wind here. These guys have way too much energy. They should- they don't deserve this much energy. What about the- they don't deserve this much energy. They don't deserve this- oh no! Oh, this guy is always like... Because he doesn't give you any room to advance any further away from him with that sucking power. You know, this guy spits too. The second one here. I haven't seen him do it in a while, though. And he blew up. He's blowed up. Okay, so we're gonna go... We're gonna get this heart piece here. Okay. Yes. Oh, come on, you child molester robot! Come on! You're kidnapping me. He's a kidnapper. What the frig, man? What the frig? Now you're just gonna die. And another one got me. Do those things come out of the back of this robot here? Yeah, let's go beat the system here. Okay, so we're gonna need Storm Eagle's power here. These things are so... I mean, these things are so intimidating, but they're so easy. You see? See how easy that was? I might have done this perfectly. Yes, I'm gonna get whatever comes out of the tail there. And it's usually a lot of good stuff. But nothing. Nothing comparative to a heart piece. Yeah, hold on, sip of coffee. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Okay. As I recall, I think that it wasn't that spike back there could actually hurt you. I remember being hurt by that spike a few times. Okay, I better just keep Storm Eagle's power out because we gotta fight that thing again. Whatever it is, that beast. Where is he? Where is he? Why do you hide from me? Oh, there he is. Okay. You wretched beast. Okay. Jump over you, and you're dead. How do you like them apples? How do you like those Storm Eagle apples? Okay. So, let's continue. Let's continue the game. No! Ah. Yes! I can't believe it. I, oh, and I killed both of them, too. That was skillful and something I'll never, ever do again. <laughs> okay. So, we're ready. We're ready to fight Launch Octopus. And he's, like, the only character in this game that actually has an animation before the fight. Because he gives he uses a tentacle to give you a thumbs down right there. Oh. Oh, come on. I hit him. Aha, uh -huh, I thought this was Mega Man X2 for a second. Where I could do the, the air dash. The dash in midair. What What do you got? What do you have? What do you have that I don't? You have nothing that... Oh, come on, I am doing so crappy. Oh my god, I just... I just managed to evade him. Come on, stop firing! Crap. I can't even hit you. Let me hit you. Oh, this is... This is... Bogus. I was killing this guy on my on my uh, practicing run. I was like murdering this guy. 
I'm talking like not even getting hit murdering him. And he's Launch Octopus is hard not to get hit on. What do you keep doing this crap for? I can't hit you. I can't even hit you when you're like that. With that stupid... I mean, you're. Uh, isn't it a clear that you're never going to hit me with this thing? Isn't it, like, painfully obvious at this point? No, well, you're dead now. How do you like that? That was a shame. That was a goddamn shame. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ! Okay, so we're gonna do one more enemy for this video. Or maybe it's next video, I don't know. I was planning on doing two enemies per video. But we're gonna see what we can do here. I think Boomer Kawanger's next.